All right, match three. Playing Popper against the odd style. Or maybe it's against the odds playing Popper style. All right, this hand every, has everything it needs except for a zero cost artifact and lands, and we have two ponders to get us there. So we will keep. I guess the nice part about playing a four card combo deck is that it's hard not to draw at least two pieces of a combo in your opening hand. All right, Banishing Knack, we already have that. Dispel would be nice, but doesn't even counter a Chainers. Land is also nice. But I think I'm still going to be a little bit greedy and mulligan. I could take the Island and then draw a Dispel and then ponder next turn, but I'd rather shuffle and look for an artifact. Spell Fist is fine too. Columbage Witches, okay, that can take down our Nettle Drone, unfortunately. But we can win without Nettle Drones. Here, I think I'm going to play Spell Fist. There is some value in playing Ponder plus Swiftwater Cliffs. Um, and potentially not trying to go off with Spell Fist, but trying to use Golem plus a, a Golem Foundry. And it looks like what we might have to do anyway, since our spell fist got edict, chainers edicted away. All right, another helix that we do not want. Let's ponder. All right, there's our zero drop artifact. So that's everything that we need to win, except for the fact that nettle drone won't work against the clombage witches. I suppose we could use one of these retraction helixes on a battered golem and bounce the witch and play a nettle drone in the same turn. Yeah, that seems fine, let's do that. And pass the turn. Phyrexian Rager comes down, we don't mind that so much. Luckily Monobat Control isn't that fast of a deck unless they get a good devotion start into Grey Merchant. Alright, here's the golem. Join another golem, so I can't actually do the trick of Helix plus Nettle Drone next turn. But when I eventually draw a land, I can. Guess Verdict takes out golem number one. Chittering Rat slows us down a turn. Got nothing to do but replay the golem, so that's what we'll do. I apologize for my inconsistency in saying golem or golem. Yet another changer's edict, okay. So we're gonna draw another one off the top, except we just got changer's edict. Okay, so the game is over now. We're gonna take five, and then we're gonna take a bunch, and then we're gonna lose. Well, that's unfortunate. Nettle Drone doesn't even do anything. Suppose it saves us one life, but if our opponent just has air and we draw golem, we still lose. Yeah, because we get attacked for five, even if we block a creature. And there's a twisted abomination. All right, so that's it for game one. It was looking within our grasp, but our opponent did have three removal spells and two rats, which was enough to slow us down. All right, so our protection spells, main deck, are spells and blessing. And I want to have protection against Chainer's Edicts for sure. And also Oubliette. So I think I want to swap out two to spell for two negate. And actually, this Apostle's Blessing as well for a dispel. I'm actually going to keep in one Apostle's Blessing and board out one of these artifacts. I don't expect them to be interacting with our artifacts, and I'd like to be able to Apostles Blessing my creature in response to an Oubliette if they have one. And I think I'll run it like this. All right, on the play, we have two parts of our combo. We still need a Banishing Knack and a creature that can wear it. But our lands are good, we have a Preordain to help us find what we want. Our opponent mulligans to six. And puts a card on top. All right, there's a battered golem. We'll take that. We also can use a welding jar to protect it, not from an edict effect, but from a regular removal spell. And now we just need either a 
Banishing Knack or a Retraction Helix for infinite golems. So I could wait another turn until I also have Apostle's Blessing available, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to run out Battered Golem now. Because the upside, if I draw a Retraction Helix or um, Banishing Knack next turn, is that I get to go off next turn. Although I suppose I'm still a mana short, aren't I? All right, minus two, minus two. I cannot protect against that with regeneration. All right, I will ponder, spell fist, and another golem foundry. Well, if I put these all on top, that means I have to draw all of them, which means it's going to be quite a few turns before I find a. Retraction Helix or a Banishing Neck or a Red Source, so I don't think I can keep these cards. All right, at least that's a Red Source. Another Rager. All right, I will play myself a nettle drone and I have an apostle's blessing up so I can predict from one removal spell that's not that's targeted so not an edict effect and then if I draw helix I can untap play golem foundry and the helix and be good to go but unfortunately that is an edict effect they sign in blood so now if they play a land that means they can also flash back the edict next turn Although it's their turn five, and they've already played a land, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, there's the Vanishing Knack. Okay, so we can win the game, or at least make infinite 3-3s three next turn, and bounce all their stuff, if they don't have another Edict right now. And they do. Well, wonderful. Okay. Quite unfortunate. So now we need to draw another Golem or... Metal Drone. And there's a Pestilence, which is also not great for us. And a Spell Fist. Here, I'm going to take the opportunity to play Golem Foundry. Playing Spell Fist doesn't really do anything with the Pestilence on the table. And also with the Flashback Edict. If I can potentially get three counters on this golem foundry, it could make a golem and uh... Oh, well, that's it for us. Corrupt takes us out. Alright, we are 0-3 in matches so far, and 0-6 in games. This is looking like a more and more unlikely proposition all the time. But we're gonna do our best, we're gonna try our hardest, and we're gonna try to eke at least a game win, if not a match win, out of this. Alright, on to match four.